In this video, we'll look at the settings required to file an AT1 by way of net file to Alberta. Let's have a look at a return. Here I have a T2 return, and it's uh, year end 2019, but this procedure is the same for all years that can be filed from profile. If I scroll down, uh, I can see here that Alberta is the jurisdiction. And there's an Alberta section down further. And I want to, I say I want a net file. It's not amended. And I'm just filing this for myself. So I'm maybe a uh, corporation files themselves. They don't have an accountant. So third party service provider is no. If I look down in the auditor, I have this error. This return has not been sent to um, Alberta, but there is an error, and if I double click on that, it takes me to this form that's called the AT1 EDI schedule. And there's two parts here that we have to be aware of. There's the part one for th third party service providers, and then a contact person. The contact person needs to be filled out for every return, so I can't just sign this off. If I do, I will get this net file error from Alberta. So now I have a first name here and the error is gone. I can go ahead and net file this return and barring other errors in the return, it'll file no problem. I'm now on the information page and I've changed the third party service provider to yes. And I see I get all these errors. And if I go over to the AEDI, it's showing me that there's the errors are originating from this section, part one. Now to update this, I have to go to eFile, Options, and there's a T2 AT1 section here. Now I filled this up to save time. So these entries are already made. There's a drop down for sec, uh, selecting the type of filer. And there's other sections here that have drop down boxes. So this will populate the part one of every AT1 now that I've got this updated. If I go back to the return here, it's still not populating. So what I have to do is go to one of the highlighted lines, right click and update third party service provider filer information. And if I click that, it'll pull over the information from that eFile options entry for AT1 that we were just looking at. And now this return has no related net file errors showing. And we can go ahead and file this return. So this shows that it's building and I got a check mark. So it's ready to file. And if this was a real return, I could just press OK and, and file it to Alberta. Thank you for watching this video. And for any support information you need, you can go to uh, our profile website. It's profile.intuit.ca, and there's support options there.